Hey everybody, it's Zoe Belcher. It is October 13th. Happy birthday to Chelsea. Hopefully she's having a wonderful day here. Um, we are, I'm at 6,685 steps for the day. My activities have been around cleaning for the day, which, um, so if I'm scratching my nose or I'm sneezing a lot, uh, please forgive me. I'm highly allergic to dust. So this morning I'm at 204.2. What's going on? Well, this is really a video for, for us women um, and those who can relate to this. Um, like since Friday, I put on just, just about two and a half pounds. Why? Well, Aunt Flo is coming to visit any day now and Aunt Flo brings a lot of baggage with her. Let's be real, ladies. We don't like our Aunt Flo. No matter how great the progressive lady Flo is, Aunt Flo sucks. <laughs> and along with her, she brings all sorts of baggage, water weight, bloat, um, just weight of everything it, it, under the sun. So, you know, when we're looking at our weight changes, one of the things you have to pay attention to is where are you in your cycle? Um, women who are going through menopause, um, he, you guys are all over the place because you may not know where your cycle is. You may not know where you're going to, you know, when you're going to cycle again. And unfortunately, from what I heard tonight, women who are going through menopause have to work even harder. Just to maintain your weight. So if you want to lose weight, now you're looking at probably an hour and a half to two hours a day of working out. Well, I don't know about you guys, but my life can't be central centered around a gym. It just can't. Two hours a day working out is a lot of time. And um, I wish I had it, but I don't. So, you know, yeah, I have been taking the water pills. Unfortunately, I didn't take mine this morning and... Um, I won't take it this close to bed because I need to get some sleep. So tomorrow morning I'll be popping that baby and hoping that it'll help with the, with the regular monthly bloat. But along with that is the cravings. This afternoon it was salty. I wanted something salty. So I had something salty. Well, tonight I'm looking for chocolate. You know, I mean, not for nothing, but we can't win for losing, you know. You're, you're working hard at your diet, and then once a month, wham, your hormones hit you. And there's nothing we can do about those hormones. You can try to fight your cravings. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it makes it worse. You just never know. You can try to increase your water intake. That works for two, month, two weeks a month, sometimes three weeks a month. But sometimes there's about five days a month that... No matter how much you drink, you're still not going to be able to flush it out. And I don't know about you guys, but I can vary anywhere from three to six pounds in that week. You know, and, and that's hard. It's devastating when you've seen weight come off and you're not paying attention maybe to the calendar and you're going, what is going on? I know I ate well yesterday. I know I didn't binge. I didn't, you know, and I worked out and I did what I was supposed to do. Why is this happening? Um, I definitely, if you don't know your cycles, I recommend you get a calendar to keep an eye, eye on it. Because you don't want to allow that to derail you. You want to have an idea of what's going on so that you know how to handle it. Especially like me, I weigh every day. I know, I know, don't, don't chime in with the stop weighing every day thing. It is a security blanket to me that I need to keep me from having anxiety attacks. But because I chart my cycle, I know that when I looked at the calendar this morning, guess what? Any day now. Okay, got it. We're just going to hang with this. We're going to look again at the weight next week. This week, it's just a try to keep it consistent. I don't want to go any higher than where I am right now today. So I got to take my water pills and I got to make sure that I'm flushing and flushing and flushing. And I got to watch everything I'm putting in my mouth. Just because you're having a craving doesn't mean you have to stuff your face with it. Moderation. So 
I don't know, ladies, that's, that's kind of my, that's my spiel for the day. And, and I think we all, like, we all keep that water weight in different places. Some people it's in their legs, some people it's in their bellies, some people it's in their boobs. I'm kind of all over the place, my hands, my feet, and, you know, I'm kind of an all around sweller. Yay, I'm a swell gal. Um, so just keep that in mind, you ladies going through menopause, uh, you know, and, and I'm, I may be Perry and right there with you, you know, just again, you need to have an idea of what's going on with your body. And since you have no idea when you're cycling, if you're cycling, you just got to be more conscious about what's going on and listening to the way you feel. Do you feel different? Um, are your hot flashes more or less or, you know, any, any signs? Um, unfortunately, I'm not well versed in the menopause section, so I can't really give you a whole lot of advice other than what I've heard is you need to watch your diets more um, and you're going to need to increase your exercise. I'm sure somebody who's in menopause or whatnot will chime in for you ladies, but um, that's it. That's what I have for you tonight. Um, hopefully you guys can make it through the week. I know I will. It's just, you know, got to. Gotta let Aunt Flo do her thing. Uh, so you have a great night. If you want to connect with me, Facebook and um, Pinterest are Zoe, Z-O-E, Belcher, B-E-L-C-H-E-R, on uh, Periscope and my fitness pal at Z Belcher. Connect with me. Let's motivate. Let's uh, be accountable to each other and let's keep moving forward. Um, so have a great night.